watching West Harper Community Sorry. Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. For the community, by the community. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood, and nobody can deny. Welcome to Mr. Pop's neighborhood. Where everything is all good in our hood. How are you all doing today? Good. Guess what our subject going to be today? No uh, esteem. What? Say, no self-esteem. No self-esteem. Say, low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. And say, you cannot judge a book by its cover. You cannot judge a book by its cover. Guess what? Yes. When you say no self-esteem, do you all know what that word means? We're talking about no self-esteem and low self-esteem. Say the word unconfidence. Unconfidence. Say insecure. Insecure. You all know what insecure means? Yes. Nope. What? Um, insecure is when you have certain things about yourself that you have to work on as a person, or certain things that you probably don't like. Insecurities about yourself. Like. More or less. Yeah. But let's define it a little more specific, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to break it down to the lowest common denominator. When a person has no self-esteem, they don't have any confidence in themselves. Say, for various reasons. For various reasons. You remember I said the subtext is going to be, you cannot judge a book by its cover? You cannot yeah, judge a book by its cover. Do you know that some people are self-conscious about their weight, whether they too fat or too skinny? You all aware of that? Yes. Are you aware some people are self-conscious about their complexion, either they too dark or too light? Yes. You understand it? Yes. You got people self-conscious about their skin because some of them have blemishes, some of them have bumps on their face. Y'all understand that? Yes. Do you know that causes an individual to have low self-esteem and no self-esteem? It causes a person to feel real unconfidence about themselves. Make them feel like they're unwanted. Make them feel like an outlaw. Make them feel like they're not accepted. Do y'all understand that? Yes. yes. But in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, we don't want people to feel unaccepted, do we? No. no. So what we do is we find a person with low self-esteem or with no self-esteem, we lift them up, we build them up, we encourage them, right? Yeah. Yes. Give me some of the ways we encourage people with low self-esteem or have no self-esteem. Tell me some of the ways we can encourage them. Tell them that they're pretty, yeah. no matter what people say. It's okay what they say about you. Okay. Who said that? Tamija. Tamija, keep going. Keep going. That was a that was a very good answer. Go ahead. Well, guess what? You have what you call the deformation of character. You have people. What they do is assassinate somebody's character. You know what that means, right? When you ranking, you know what ranking is? Yes. Do you know that's a form of peer pressure? Ranking yes. is when you're talking about people. Talk a little louder. Ranking is when you're talking about how they look. And and what, what time, and one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. How they look and their ugly thing. One at a time, go ahead. Go ahead. Speak a little louder, speak up. It makes people sad. That's right, it makes people sad. 
say earlier when I said the word defamation of character. Defamation of character. And that's a form of say character assassination. Character assassination. Okay. When you're talking to one of your friends, right? Yes. And you're on the phone and you're talking about another friend or another person you all know. And when you speak down about that person, when you talk negative about that person, that's defamation of character. Say it. Defamation of character. Say character assassination. Character assassination. Do you know that's wrong? That's not right? That's wrong. That's wrong. What you should do is always speak positive about somebody. Always find something good to say about somebody because you want somebody to say something good about you. Is that correct? Positive. Yes. yes. If you're not going to say nothing nice, don't say anything. Say that again. If you're not going to say nothing nice, don't say anything. That's right. That's right. If you don't have anything good to say about somebody, don't say nothing at all. But we want to talk about encouraging people. We want to talk about how a person wants to better themselves. What's the best way a person wants to better themselves? Mm, in their life in general, they can better themselves. Uh, what's some of the ways they can? So what's some of the ways they can better themselves? As in looks. As in life in general. How can they think positive about themselves? Think good about themselves? They can ignore what people say and do themselves. And if anything, they always got somebody to call or talk to. And who's like that person? Social worker. Police, mom, dad, grandparents, aunt, and so on. Did you hear that? Okay. But what I want you all to understand is this. Each and every one of you all should be able to and have the ability to encourage one another. Do you all understand that? Yes. yes. We want to set a good example in our neighborhood. We want to show other neighborhoods that in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, we don't do negative things. We accept authority, right? Yes. We don't perform any bullying, right? Yes. We don't adjust to peer pressure, right? Yes. We respect each other's feelings, right? Yes. yes. That's what we want to demonstrate. Am I correct? Yes. yes. So when you find a person that's unconfident, low self-esteem, you're supposed to let them know, look, there's a lot of good in you. Help a person discover. Sometimes people have hobbies, right? Yes. And talent. But they need somebody else to lift them up and bring that talent out. Show them where they have that talent. Say, broaden your horizon. Broaden your horizon. You have a lot of people who have talent in them, but it takes a friend to say, you know what, Deja? You're a great singer. Why don't you do something with your singing ability? Can you write? Yes. Why don't you, you ever thought about writing songs? Not really. I write songs and rap. You write songs and rap? I have two songs. Well, I have a song and a rap. Really? Now, you know what you have to do? You have to protect that. Don't let nobody see it. You're supposed to keep that in a safe place. And every time, you got a title for it yet? Me, me and Naya got this song, but the title is called uh, Making the World a Better Place. Making the world a better place. No more drama, no more escapes for me and you. For me and you, driving our brains all insane, making everyone feel the pain. It's me and you, for me and you. The pain we feel every day, making us all wanna go away, but we just stay, but we just stay. All this violence all around, making one just seem, seem like, like a clown. But, but when we step up, they have a frown. Because, 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 because making the world a better place. Good job. Well, guess what? I want you all to work more on that song, okay? And we're going to schedule video time, and we're going to do a video. What's the title of that song? Making the world a better place. Making the world a better place. Do you know people all over the world need to hear that? Do y'all know that? Y'all made so that up. Work on it. Work on it. Everybody has a role. Everybody has a part in it, right? Everybody's a star, right? Yes. And we're going to shoot a video for that song. I'm a good choreographer. Okay, you're going to do some you're going to do some steps with it too? Really? 
But you got to break out the shyness. Remember earlier we talked about low self-esteem and no self-esteem? Remember, that's what the subject is, right? Yeah. So you can break out of that shyness because guess what? You have a gift. In order to display that gift, you got to break away from that shyness, right? Yes. And we're going to help you break away from that shyness because we're going to encourage you, we're going to influence you, we're going to let you know you're doing great, and we're going to let you know that you can and will accomplish it. Am I right, y'all? Yes. yes. So we're going to encourage you, right? Yes. Let's encourage you and say, you can do it. You can do it. Now, who else? Who else? Who else has the gift? Who else has the talent? Now you can see you can sing, Naya? Yes, she can sing. Let her talk for herself. Let her talk. Come on, now, let her talk. He can dance like a bunch. Can you talk? Can you sing? Really? Okay. Okay. Now, who is going to be encouraging a friend this week? Me. Which one of you are going to find somebody that you're going to encourage this week? Me. You Me. are? Yes. Me. Do you have an idea of any friends feeling down? Um, I bet you I could find a couple. Okay. Not really, but. Are you going to encourage him? Yes. Him or, him or she, right? Yeah, so my family. Okay. Anybody else going to encourage somebody this week? Yeah. Who, who's going to encourage? Who are you going to encourage? Talk a little louder. My friends. Your friends? How are you going to do that? How are you going to do it? Speak a little louder now. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> and what else? Be nice to them. Right. But that's one way of encouraging, by speaking to people. That could be encouraging, because mm -hmm. some people don't speak. You all know that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Some people walk by you and don't speak. Be nice to them and help them with stuff that's really important. I'll clap when they One at a time, one at a time, and speak loud. One at a time, go ahead. I can encourage a friend by saying, like, don't let that person feel let you down because they might have some things that nobody know about that they bad at and they not good at. Who else? By saying, we like cheering for them when they graduate. When That's they do right. good. That's right. And, and saying that you're pretty. That's right. People like to hear that. Exactly. Do you know Come on now, that's enough. Do you know that people go around telling people that they're so ugly, nobody wants to see them, nobody wants to be with them? Don't laugh now. So what you said was very, very positive. Start telling people they're pretty. That's right. That's encouraging right there. People need to hear that. You often find people always telling people you're ugly, nobody wants to be your friend, nobody likes you. So that's encouraging. That's very encouraging what you said. Give me some more encouraging words you'd like to give to somebody that's feeling down. How would you like to be encouraged? Yeah, good. Okay. That's you're, encouraging. You're really smart at the things you do. Like, people say that just because you go to school and you look like, I'm not trying to say nothing, but like, some people go to school just to get an education, not to go out the uniform looking cute and all dressy and heels and new updated sneakers and all that. Like, to tell you the truth, I do get sneakers and stuff because I'm kind of spoiled, but not as much. But, like, I don't go to school, like, once in a while. I, like, if I don't have long pants that don't fit me, I'll wear high water, but I'll roll in my best capris. <laughs> but always understand something. You have some kids that's very unfortunate due to a lot of reasons. You have kids might come from single-parent families. They might have two or three other siblings, and the mother is not able to just keep them up to date with the fashion. But that's no reason to make a person feel excluded. Say excluded. Excluded. Say outcast. Outcast. Say unaccepted. Unaccepted. There's no reason to make a person feel unaccepted, an outclass, or excluded because of their fashion. You understand that? Yes. yes. People can't help it. People can't help that. But you're still supposed to make a person feel like they want it and accept it and they're a friend of yours. Because clothes don't make you. Y'all understand that? Yes. You're there to get an education. Am I right or wrong? Yes. yes. That ranking, say ranking. Ranking. We don't tolerate that. We don't tolerate that. 
Because everybody is what? Somebody, right? Everybody Isn't everybody somebody? somebody? Yes. In Mr. Pop's neighborhood? Yes. So we don't make nobody feel uncomfortable. Say intimidation. Intimidation. Say uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Any time a person is uncomfortable in your presence, any time a person feels intimidated, say that's bullying. That's bullying. bullying. And nobody has a right to be uncomfortable or intimidated in your presence. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Right. Yes. And you got people that call people fat. Do you know that hurts people's feelings? Yes. yes. Say it louder. And they feel embarrassed. And they don't have no right to be embarrassed, right? Like they always call Zai fat and stuff. See right here? Who's, who is Zai? My cousin. Right here. Zai right here? And the, like the mom and them be calling her names. But guess what? As a responsibility, you know what you need to do? You're supposed to be able to say, don't do that. Don't and don't join in. You know that, right? You don't join in and tell them that's not right. When you see people doing that and you present, when you see people doing that and you present, you say that's not right. Don't make a person feel uncomfortable. That's bullying. You inform them that's not right. And then you hug her and make her feel accepted, okay? I do. Go ahead. Sometimes when I tell people that's, that's not right to rank on people, that, that sometimes tell me to shut up and stuff. Really? Yes. How do you feel about that? Not well. What do we say ranking is? Bullying? Peer pressure? Low. low. Bullying is, is bullying? Peer pressure. Peer, Peer pressure. pressure. There you go. <laughs> who else Who else not encourage people? Me. How would you encourage somebody? By telling them they're doing a good job. I know. That could be encouraging. I know another one. <laughs> What's another one? By saying you're a nice person and you're really smart. Speak, but you gotta speak a little louder, Nigel. By saying you're a nice person and you're really smart. That's right. That's right. Positive, positive things. Positive things, right? Yes. You wanna think about positive things. But you remember earlier on when I said you can't judge a book by its cover? cover. Who can define that for me? It I could. One at a time. Like one at a time. Go ahead, Dante. To me, it means to judge a book by its cover. No, you can't judge a book by well, its cover. You can't judge a book by its cover because, like, when you first meet somebody or. You remember early on when I said you. It, it's not right to judge a book by its cover because, like, when you first meet somebody. Or look at something, you first assume that it's bad or horrible or stupid. But you should, like, if you was to meet somebody, you should know them better. Just like reading a book, you should read it more. In other words, when you judge a book by its cover, don't look at a person's appearance and then come to a conclusion of what you feel that person is. Get to know that person as an individual. Y'all understand that? Yes. That's what we mean by judging a book by its cover. Don't go by the first impression. Don't go by the person's appearance. Get to know that individual. Communicate with that individual, and you'll find out a lot you all have in common. People judge me, Pops. In school, mm -hmm. mind you, I was a junior. So all the freshmen told me. All the freshmen told me. What's going on? Hold on. Gonna fight. Oh, when I was in school, what happened? What's going on? When I was in school, and I was a junior at the time, and all the freshmen told me that everybody said not to talk to me because I was mean and I was rude, and I was so upset because like when they had class with me, they seen that I was cool, but it's just the first impression I give off, and I do it on purpose, kind of, but it's still, you know, you can't judge me and think I'm just a rude person. I just have to get to know you. That's all. Judging a book by its cover <coughs> is basically saying, like, say, for instance, I met somebody, I'd be like, oh, why you look like that? But, like, not to say it out loud, say it to myself, and then they'd be like, why? They'd be like, right, why she look like that? Look at those sneakers. Where'd she come from? And then, like, 
the person supposed to be like, it's not nice to talk about people like that because what if that was you? And what if you don't know that they're talking about you? You'll feel some type of way. Say communication. Communication. Communication is the key. You never know what a person is thinking about. You never know how a person feels unless you communicate with that person. Then you can be able to discover how you can encourage that person, all right? Yes. But I want to tell you all something. I thank you all for being a part of Mr. Pop's neighborhood. And we're going to come up with another subject for next week, okay? Yes. yes. I got something to say. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Bugavelli, Papa Doc Records, you know. It's for my peoples out here who graduated school. Tell them living in the future, forget about the past. Road to the riches, my foot up on the gas. Not worry about the violence, yeah. In the gunshot, trying to go to college, yeah. And rise to the top, living in the future, forget about the past. Road to the riches, my foot up on the gas, not worry about the violence, yeah, and the gunshots, trying to go to college, yeah, and rise to the top, you know, I thank my grandparents for being there for me, a little hard-headed, but listen carefully, pay attention to what they said, a young adult, I always wanted to do something, didn't want to help, living life like a man, not a little kid, I graduated high school, now I do it big. I feel like I conquered a big achievement Open new doors in my life So now I breeze in the end Oh no, I ain't finished yet In this rap game, everybody know I've been the threat Kill a set, kill a scene You gon' remember me Ready for whatever and surprise me with anything Feeling me? Cause I'm a stand-up guy If you love my rap songs, put your hands up high Feeling me, cause I'm a stand up guy. If you love my rap songs, put your hands up. Living in the future, forget about the past. Road to the riches, my foot up on the gas. Not worry about the violence, yeah. In the gunshots, trying to go to college, yeah. And rise to the top. Living in the future, forget about the past. Road to the riches, my foot up on the gas. Not worry about the violence, yeah. In the gunshot, trying to go to college, yeah. And rise to the top, you know. Rugavelli, yeah. Rugavelli, Papa Doc Record, you dig? You already know what we came to do. Hit makers, baby. Yeah. Lights out, lights out, cause I graduated school And I'm feeling kinda fresh, and I'm feeling kinda cool Lights out, lights out, cause I did a good thing And I showed everybody that I came to claim the things Lights out, lights out, cause I showed my grandparents I could do the right thing if I put my head to it Lights out, lights out, cause I don't play no games Rugavelle, Papa Doc, and be ready to run the thing Graduated high school Graduated high school, 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 graduated high school. Yeah, they call me Ruga, but I'm going to show you. I graduated high school, now I can't of know you that I'm in the gang and we taking over. Rock pole low from head to toe like baking soda. The flow, I take it over. You can't even see me shine. Me and Papa Doc all day on this TV time. And we spit the flows. And we came to let her know. Graduated is a good thing. We about to let it blow. Yes, we gon' let them know that it's a good way to succeed in your life. So you can all pay the good qualities you need to see the sesh. I'm on the road to riches. See me in the stretch lex. I'm on fly just like an airplane. No wings on my back with the air ring and the owl ring. That's how it's our thing. Graduated high school, it's a power thing. 
lights out Cause we came up in this game And I graduated high school When I came to came my name Lights out, lights out Cause the boy graduate school And I'm feeling kinda fly And I'm feeling kinda cool Lights out, lights out And I show my grandparents That I could do a life Show them that I trained parents Lights out, lights out Cause we bout to bring it down Me and my boy Pop Bout to run the city now Graduated high school Graduated high school, 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 yeah, I graduated high school, yeah, Rugavel, Papa Doc, we in here, I told him, the PLK is back, yeah.